Yo guys, what is up? Max in our Power World video, and today we are looking at the best bases submitted by viewers. Uh, a while back, I went and did a video that was exploring base locations submitted by viewers, and I found a lot of really awesome base locations. However, I didn't get to see what uh, the people who were submitting it, what they did with their base there. So I hosted a little competition with a $500 prize pool for who could send me the coolest base um and so today we're going to be looking at all of those submissions before we get into the video huge thanks to all the people that submitted if you didn't know about this or didn't submit in time i do apologize uh but i really do appreciate you guys giving me so many different responses uh and this video we're going to be looking and highlighting the best ones there's a lot of responses so you're not going to see all of them in this video uh but i will be like highlighting the top ones hope you enjoy it let's get right into it So after watching every single submission, uh, which we did all live on twitch.tv slash moxie, if you ever want to come over and watch, uh, it took about three hours of just watching clip submissions. Uh, these are going to be the best bases. Now, in order of like uh, pricing and stuff like that, how are, this is going to be done is we've got our first, second, and third. First place is $250. Second is $100. Uh, third place is $50. And then we've got two additional prizes that are both $50 for the most unique base and also the best use of space. Um, and we're gonna get into that right now. So on screen is going to be the winner for the most unique base. Now I really liked this one because all of the other bases in this video that were showcased and highlighted were bases built mainly in open spaces and areas. Uh, this is the first and only base out of all of the ones that were submitted that was built kind of in this like cavern that was really cool. Uh, and the way that they set this base up to function in such a small space was pretty impressive. So they just climbed into their base. They've kind of got their beds laid out on the walls, uh, which once again, kind of creative use of space. And then my favorite part about this is one, you've got all of the like the columns and it's just base looks cool. And then they actually placed their pal box on the right edge here. So this is their pal box here, which looks like a weird location, but there's this whole overhang area and downstairs part. And because they put their box there, they get all of this space to use. Uh, and I thought that this was the most unique of the bases that I looked at um, in terms of just kind of doing something that no one else did. Next up was an additional category for best use of space. Uh, now, a lot of people sent me bases that were on this exact tower. There wasn't a lot of space on this tower. Um, it's at negative 8195. However, uh, this player's base was the best use of this tower space. A lot of other players, uh, or I got a lot of submissions of this tower, were kind of nicely laid out and open, uh, but what they were able to do was really impressive. Um, now, the big thing here was they built this like really cozy house and managed to fit it and feel large and spacious and homey, like in this tower and then they also had all of the other parts of the base looking very functional and organized uh they've got a nice little living room here i don't know how they did this like uh candle wall thing it looks like they maybe used defensive walls to kind of fit in the corners which i thought was really creative uh you can see it over here as well they put these like defensive walls with a candle on it um and then this is their bedroom they've got kind of like a living room there and then a monitoring stand is the overlook onto all of the pals with this kind of lookout area was really cool. And obviously this area doesn't have a lot of space. So 
Well, they also had this whole metal overhang area with all of the production benches and lines. And I just thought this was a really good use of space. Looked really organized and they were able to fit a ton of stuff while not making it feel overly crowded. Now we get into our top three bases. Uh, and this was obviously quite a difficult decision. There were so many really good bases that were sent in. Uh, the top three winning bases are going to take really great advantage of the space, design, decoration, and be functional. Um, and at our number three spot was this base submitted by Nuno. Um, this base was really impressive to me. Uh, one, because their base location that they built on is at the coal and iron mountaintop which I made a video on recently and was like, I don't know how you would build on here, to be honest, because there's not a lot of space. Um, and they expanded all of the sides out of it to add a ton of space to this base. Um, and then they also built this massive tower on top of it. Uh, when we get the, into them flying into their tower, uh, they also have it very well decorated. Here is the top floor. This is the like bedroom floor. They've got a fireplace some couches uh, and they've got the bed that's like looking out into the like whole area uh, they also had a very nice little bathroom here uh, with windows looking out they had their bathtub and then you come down into the second floor this was all set up to be pretty spacious they've got all of their benches everything that they need um, and then we come down to the next floor, breeding. Uh, I actually wanted to make a base like this where you kind of have the different things that you need on different floors. Uh, and then you just put the pals there and you could technically like block off their different entrances and exits so that the pals are like only located to the objectives that you want them to be on. Uh, and I also thought this was really impressive. They did all of this and built this massive base without actually blocking any of the natural spawns. Uh, so they've still got all of the spawns here, even though they've got all of this base location. Same for the coal on the other side. Um, and I just thought this was very well laid out. Impressive, good use of space. It was organized um, and uh, really, really well done. So uh, congratulations to Nuno on the third place win. Our number two spot are where things start to get pretty crazy. Uh, this is also on that same mountaintop, the like coal and ore one. Uh, and on the outside, this one looks pretty nice. Um, you know, it's got the different sections of the building. Uh, it's got a nice tower. They still managed to fit all of the coal and ore spawns. Uh, it's not as like massive as the last one. But once you get inside, you will start to realize why this one won second place. Uh, it's actually incredible. So as you can see, here's the whole like outside area, all the pals doing their things and running around. And then they drop down and get into their gateway. And uh, the way that they've set this up and decorated it is really, really impressive. I didn't know a lot of these things that could be done. Uh, so here's our main entrance. They swing around into the kitchen here nice kitchen layout they've got the different cooking pots they've got windows the fridges all of the storage that you could need the dining table uh then you come into the like kind of workstation the way that they set up all of their crates and things are actually really impressive like i didn't know that you could stack crates like this at all the way that they have these stacked up and laid out and they do this throughout their entire base uh it just makes it feel very well decorated you know what I mean? Like they come out here, you can see a nice little overlook into the valley. This is pretty awesome. They've got this awesome waterfall view. And then like just these little details uh, of having these like trash bags and storage tires, uh, like they placed and decorated all of this, uh, which I thought was like really, really cool and well done. They come outside, uh, then they go upstairs into the bedroom area. They've got the whole like study room and area where you've got the couch, the piano. Uh, they come around here. This is kind of like the guest bedroom where it's overlooking the gate. Come upstairs to the master bedroom. Nice little like overlook. You've got the bed in the middle with the two windows, the dressers, the big mirror in the corner. Like the way that this was all laid out is really great. Then they come into the bathroom nice bathroom and then they've got i don't know how they did this but they've got like lighting coming from behind the shower or something like that it just looks really cozy uh <laughs> this is just it's a really really well done base um and that's kind of it they they do come upstairs which i wanted to show you guys this view as well 
uh, just to cap it off. They've got this like slanted view that you come out to on the top floor. It's got a nice lake down there and then the like triple waterfall view. Really, really impressive. And I think very deserving of our number two spot. Our number one spot might be the craziest base in all of Pal World. Uh, they're flying around it right now and it looks absurd. They genuinely made like a town from Skyrim or Baldur's Gate. Uh, the way that they've set this up is just like, I can't imagine the amount of time and effort uh, that went into building this like i mean it's not even a base it, it is like a full town uh and once they get into it i want to show you why this like genuinely blew me away um so they walk up to the town entrance gates and th this player has captured all of the npcs all of the npcs all of the merchants they've made a living breathing town in their base they've set up a ton of different areas their street signs um, here they're walking into the tavern where they've got two merchants setting up. Um, there's a town square. Like, I don't even know how they thought of making something like this. Uh, no pals allowed into this area. Uh, this looks like a nice, like, library reading room kind of type vibe. Then they go upstairs. I could let this video play for a whole seven minutes. It's, it's actually insane what they've done with this. Um... They come up, I think this is one of the main houses. They've got the couches, all the like piano furniture set up, come upstairs to like just a crazy looking bedroom. Uh, this was the most impressive bedroom that we saw. And then this bathroom was also very nice, cozy, well decorated. They even like emote and get into the bathtub. <laughs> um there's just so much that they did here. There's so many, so many buildings and all of them are like, well thought out well decorated they've like even the the little details of all the gates around everything you know what i mean like it it feels like a professional <laughs> or like a developer built this town into this game this is this base is more impressive than any of the towns uh that are actually already existing in the game they come out here to this main like foyer area where they've got stop signs traffic lights construction work going on um and then they go all the way up over to where they have their pals. Uh, it was cool to see that this wasn't just decoration. All of their pals were working, doing things, uh, the way that they have their structures set up. You've got all of your kind of like medicine, kitchen stuff, and there they've got everything laid out with constructions around all of the uh, workbenches, furnaces, beds. It's just, it's insane. <laughs> Even more footage of all of their pals, like actually functioning, doing everything. Doesn't look like anything's having pathing issues. Everything's well organized, laid out. Uh, this is another view of that like courtyard foyer area. And then they even built this like massive tower that they kind of go up on at the end. This is pretty crazy. They built they built a soccer field over here with two uh, soccer nets. I like didn't even know that that was a thing. Uh, and here is another like flyby overview of the base. Uh, they didn't really fully show off this like castle tower. I think they land on it at the very end here, but just absurd. Uh, I really would be impressed. I obviously, I didn't, haven't seen all of the bases in Power World, but if there is anything that tops this, I would be genuinely shocked. All right, guys, that is going to do it for the video. Huge congratulations to the winners. Uh, I will be sending you emails asking for your like PayPal information to send you your prize money. Uh, so just make sure you that you verify that that is from me um, so that we're all good there. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you appreciated or liked this kind of competition. I would love to do more uh, of these kind of type of things for Pal World. And yeah, I will catch you all in the next one, guys. Take care. Peace.